Hey comrades, um, so just making this quick tutorial to help people who aren't sure how to use Audacity. So you can see I have Audacity pulled up already. If you don't know how to download Audacity, it is free. So you just type in Audacity. You can see I have it already typed in because I downloaded it already, obviously. And um, yeah, this is where I went. I have Windows, so I went to here. Um, AudacityTeam.org. I think you might find it some other places, but this seems to be their direct website, so that's where I went to go to get it. Um, Alright, so once you open up Audacity, it'll show up like this. You need to go to Tracks and Add New. So Mono or Stereo, you don't really need to worry about Label Track or Time Track, I wouldn't imagine, not for recording audiobooks. Um, <clears throat> As far as mono and stereo, it depends on what kind of microphone you're using. You can't really go wrong with mono. Sometimes with stereo, if you're using certain kinds of microphones, it will only record on one half because stereo is a right and a left sound field and it can give kind of a, a wider sound to your audio if that's what you're, if that's what you're looking for or if you have a microphone that supports that, which I think ones built into laptops and stuff like that generally do. But, I don't know. Either way, I'll open both of them just to show you guys what's going on. So, this is what a stereo track sounds like. Or, I'm sorry, looks like. Let's see if the microphone I'm using... Yeah, okay. So, mine does support stereo. That's cool. Right now, I'm literally using like a $20 microphone, a USB microphone, a headphone microphone that I got from like Best Buy or something years ago. Um, if you have a better microphone, whatever. <laughs> um, or if you have no microphone, that's still okay. So, uh, so you can see it recorded the, what I was just saying, but if you want another track, or just to show mono tracks too, this is what a mono track looks like. Let's see if it automatically selects. I'm not, I'm not really 100% spun up on Audacity, so I'm learning a little bit as I go through this as well. But, let's see. Oh yeah, so, cool. It's recording on this. See, the mono track has one instead of the two. I'm going to stop, so I'm not talking over myself. Um, but you can see it records multiple tracks. These are called tracks. This here is one track. This here is one track. Um, so if you start recording something and get to a place where you think it's good to stop and you just want a clear marker as to where you stopped or something, you could always you know, um, open a new track select a place to start like right there and let's this should work yeah and then it starts recording right there good all right um as far as editing because i think that that was the point of discussion um so let's say you want to cut this out i don't know you just don't want it there that was where you stuttered or mispronounced a word or turned a page or something so you can hit this this is just the cut and then it's going to automatically bump all of this over there. So if that's what you're looking for, you just have to be careful. I mean, you could always, I'm going to control Z right now. So if you can control Z, you can undo it and put it back. You just want to be careful that you're cutting it exactly where you want, because it's going to automatically bump it over. So if you don't want a weird gap here of silence or something, then make sure that you are selecting it in a place that is the space that you're looking for. If you want it to sound like actual talking, you don't want it to be a clear click. If you cut in the middle of a word, a lot of the times you'll get a weird click or a weird audio noise, obviously, because if you're in the middle of saying something loudly and you cut it immediately to silence or to you saying something else, it's going to sound a little odd. Um, but you can get around this sort of thing as well. Um, I was just playing with it and I found it. Let's see. Uh, remove special. There it is. So you can split cut, split delete, silence audio, or trim audio. I'm not so sure. Let's just let's just play with it and see. So I think split cut is the one that I was going to say. So split cut, bam. Yeah. So now you can, uh, now you see that there's just this space here. And let's see, is there a grabber tool? Okay. So maybe that's not as useful as I thought it might be. That's so weird they don't have a grabber tool in Audacity. <clears throat> Is this it? No, that's time shifting. That's interesting. Oh, 
Yeah, okay, yeah, so that's the grabber tool. All right, so this right here is the grabber tool, as I just learned as I was showing you. So you can clip here. So you want to clip here, and then you listen to it, and you're like, ah, I don't really like the spacing. I want it to be a little bit more spaced out. You can pull it just a little bit, or if you're like, oh, I, I didn't notice I messed up this, too. I meant to cut that. You can just... Oh, no, you can't. Okay, you can't slide it over. So you'd have to cut this, too. And that's how you select... How you go back is by selecting this. So now you can select parts of the audio again, just like I was doing before. Um, let's keep playing with these and see. Split delete. Oh, okay. I gotcha. I gotcha. Okay, so split delete means that you are just deleting it. Split cut means it's going... So you can, like, paste it. So that's what I just did, is I control v -ed. And this is what I deleted before. This is what I... What, whatever the term that this program uses. Uh split cut. This is what was split cut. So then it put it on so I can control it. So I could paste it. Alright, uh, silence audio should be self-explanatory. I think it just silences the audio of what you've selected. Yep. Alright, control Z so we can still play with it. Um, and trim. Let's see. Why did it do that? I wonder. Let's do that again and see if it does the same thing. I think... Okay, so maybe this trim audio is you select what you want, and everything after what you want gets trimmed, so it just gets deleted. So you have to have stuff selected. Hmm. Comrades, I'm actually not really sure why what that is. Okay, so that's why, yeah. It deletes everything that's around it. Within a certain range, apparently. I'm not sure. Um, Audacity is good for a free program, so, I mean, it's definitely better than, like, generic one-track, uh, um, uh, audio recording devices that don't allow you to do this kind of cutting and stuff. I think that that explains most of it. I hope I didn't go too fast. If you do have any other questions, I'll try to answer them. There is a whole bunch of random tools on here. Like I said, I never got too much into using these. The program I use, uh, is Pro Tools, but it's not free, obviously. Um... But yeah, and then when you're done, you can export it as an MP3. Export just means you're turning this file here, which is a bunch of sound waves, it's it's probably saves it's its own audacity file of some sort, um, into an MP3 file that you could upload or email or whatever. Or a wave file if you want to go with that. Wave files actually generally have better sound quality, but I think from what the conversations were earlier it needs to be an MP3 to upload on the website. So, yeah. If you have any other questions, let me know. I don't know. This is just what I can think of off the top of my head as far as explaining how to use this stuff. Um, hope you all are doing good.